All right, time for another episode of Just Hanging. Today, we are joined by co-host of the Nosebleed Seats and my South African Jewish brother, Zachary Wolchuk. Do you have a middle name? It's Maurice. 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 Oh, I'm going to start calling you Big Mo. Big Mo. Okay, that's fine with me. At any point in your life, have you ever considered going by Maurice instead of Zach or Zachary? No, no, Maurice is not. I mean, I'm named after my great grandfather, so I don't want to like completely crap on his name. But no, it's just it hasn't been one that I've really wanted to to go by. Okay, all right, like well, Big Mo. You, good. Well, who's your favorite Maurice? Mm, I don't know that I even have a favorite Maurice. I haven't thought that far into it. What I I can't even think of a Maurice off the top of my head. Well, most people named Mo are probably Maurice. If it may be Maurice, know? but maybe like Maurice Taylor. Former okay. Michigan Wolverine NBA sure. player. Sure, Maurice Taylor. We'll rock with that. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, so let's get back on track. My fault. Uh, I think you know oh, how this works. Uh, this yeah. is the 105.3 The Fan uh, personality edition of Just Hanging. Not to be confused with the award-winning segment uh, heard nightly at 840 on the nosebleed seats uh, named Just Bangin'. Uh, so just hanging is a little different. I ask you the questions. You're in the hot scene. Let's start with favorites. Favorite food. Ooh, favorite food. I'm a big sushi guy. Okay. Do you have a favorite type of roll or if you could create your like ideal roll? Oh man. I'm a big uh, shrimp tempura fan. I can go with the rainbow roll. I'm about that life. Uh, so, I mean, it kind of just depends. Like I like a good mixture of the fried, you know, when you get the tempura, but I'm also good with just the traditional you put the shrimp on the California, the avocado. I'd say tuna over salmon, though. I'm pro tuna over the salmon roll. What are your thoughts on the low carb options, like the cucumber wrap stuff like that? Yeah, no, they're actually pretty good. So I went through a keto phase, and my girlfriend and I were like, "Well, we'd still like to have some sushi." So the riceless rolls. At first, I was extremely terrified to try them. I thought, "There's no way this is going to be good," but they're not bad. They're really, really not bad. The riceless rolls are a good option. I. Uh... How long did the keto experiment last? Yeah, uh, about three months. And then as soon as the pandemic hit, um, we just completely stopped. Well, that three months is pretty good. Yeah, that's the second time I've done it. The first time I went four months, this time went three. And, you know, it's just I I'm kind of upset with myself. But what can you do? I need to get back on that train. Yeah, I'll, when, when this ends, you and I can – I'm not going to do the keto thing, but you and I can hold each other healthy, accountable – together well i mean i like the idea of holding each other but uh we should definitely uh you should do the keto thing with me what uh what's like the craziest most wild ass thing you put on your or like on a sushi roll or something you've tried or something you would try Ooh, that's interesting what is it octopus was kind of gross uh eel but i don't know that eel's really super weird i think that's actually yeah. pretty traditional when it comes you know, to like maybe like a french fry or like bacon or whiskey. yeah bacon yeah i have had bacon on a roll before and it was pretty good i mean i i'm a guy you put bacon on anything it's gonna be pretty delicious is there such thing as breakfast sushi with like scrambled eggs and stuff oh my gosh jared i've never had breakfast sushi but this could be something we can trademark and go into business with because i think that's a fantastic idea i mean i think breakfast is such a great meal and well, the breakfast and burrito is awesome so why not a breakfast sushi roll my on my birthday, my wife wanted to bring me breakfast, and she asked what I wanted, and it was a no-brainer. Breakfast burrito from Lucky Boy in Pasadena. Get in the car right now and go. Uh, she, did it. She, she turned down that offer to go, like, 40 hours there and back just for a burrito. But the breakfast burrito is such a great breakfast option. It's the ultimate breakfast option. It really is. You can put everything in there, and it's just the perfect breakfast. Absolutely. Yeah. Are you more of a movie or TV show guy? movie guy favorite movie the dark knight favorite actor or actress mm, that is a good question right there favorite act i loved heath ledger unfortunately with his passing currently i think i'd go with uh, bradley cooper big bradley yeah. cooper fan uh, you guys look alike too the beard yeah. And, yeah i get that often i mean people stop me and they're like hey are you the guy from american sniper and i just say no no not me but thank you i get brad pitt a lot I, I I can see that the bandana I'm, especially. Yeah. I'm surprised it took people so long to recognize that. I I think I've really looked like Brad Pitt since I was like 12. 
I've only started getting it the last couple of years. Um, not sure why, but I'm glad that the world's kind of opened up to that. No, I made the transition from the Rosie O'Donnell lookalike to Bradley Cooper. So I'm pretty happy with the way things have changed. <laughs> Favorite athlete? Uh, Emmett Smith. Uh, is he the best running back of all time? Absolutely. 100%. Don't fight me on it because I'll win. Mm, interesting. Favorite sports team growing up? The Dallas Cowboys. Least favorite sports team? The Philadelphia Eagles. What's like your favorite sport to watch other than baseball, basketball, football, hockey? Lacrosse. Oh, the train. You've, you've done some lacrosse broadcasting. I think lacrosse is very underrated. I'm a big lacrosse fan, but I do enjoy soccer as well. Are you a lax bro? Did you ever uh, play? Uh, no, I never played. Honestly, I tried to pick up a stick and a ball one time, and it ended terribly for me. I got beamed in the face, and those balls are hard. They are. They are. They I, had a year, I have a year of lacrosse under my belt. I, uh, Dude. Yeah. Uh, what's a sport you never played growing up that you would like to try? Hockey. I think the last name Wolchuk is a good hockey name. It absolutely is. Right? So I feel like maybe I was born to play hockey, and I just missed my calling. What position would you like to play? I think I would be a defenseman. I kind of just want to throw my weight around and just beat the crap out of people. Uh, favorite fruit? Ooh, fruit. I'm going to go with a pear. I like pears. Favorite smell? Fresh cut grass. What is your favorite type of clothing? Oh, my favorite type of clothing. That's a, I'm a big sweatpants and yeah. thin long sleeve hoodie guy. I'd go with socks. And honestly, it's because I'm anti-feet. So cover those bad boys up. I'm a big sock guy. What is your proudest non-sports or broadcasting-related moment? Probably graduating from college, just because it was a massive deal for my family. I was the first born American to graduate from college. And the family were really the first person, period, to graduate from college in the family. So it was a big deal. I tried to be a trailblazer in that regard. There you go. Setting an example for the for Walchuk generations to come. Yeah, for the little youngins. What did you want to be when you were 10? Oh, I probably wanted to be uh, the next Emmett Smith. <laughs> <laughs> You're running back. Who was your high school crush? My high school crush. Ooh, shucks. I probably had several, um, but definitely this girl, Kara, that we went to school with. She was kind of like my middle school crush. Floated into high school as well. Always kind of had a thing. We got a last name on Kara? No, I'm not going to throw that out there. She could watch this right now. <laughs> Does she not know? I mean, you're I have no idea. No. I, she probably knew in middle school, but things have changed. I think she's pregnant now, so this could get weird. <laughs> uh, what's Who's like the person you've gotten to meet who's like, wow, like I cannot believe I met this person? Oh, this guy named Jared Sandler. Definitely. Give me a real Jared answer. Sandler was really, really cool. Give me a real answer. Um, Hmm, the person I met. Have you met Emmett? I've never met Emmett. I've never met Emmett. No, I have not. And you know what? That might be the one person. I've, I've been lucky to get to like interview some cool people and I've been cool, calm, and collected. Emmett might be the one that I get a little rattled with. I think actually the coolest person that I got to end up meeting and I was always a big fan of his was David Murphy. I thought Murph was a badass. I loved him in those runs at the world series. And he was just so nice. Like when I got to hang out in the clubhouse, he came up, he's like, man, I was listening to you last night on the way home. Like, I just hope it didn't sound like crap. No, you sounded like Murph was just the nicest guy ever. I loved meeting David Murphy. Murph Murph is the man. And then the person you'd like to meet would that be Emmett? I would love to meet Emmett, absolutely. Emmett and Dez, I would like to meet both of them. And Jimmy Johnson. I think Jimmy would be a fun person to meet. The coach or the NASCAR driver? Not the NASCAR driver. Okay. I don't care about the NASCAR driver. <laughs> What's your social pet peeve? Uh, trolls. I just – I just hate people, you know, I mean, and it's inevitable. People are going to troll, but you know that there's just those people that have an egg or about 20 different thousand numbers in their Twitter handle. And they're only on there to probably sit shirtless, eating a bunch of canned pork and beans and just scour the internet and troll people. <laughs> uh, what's a company or business you frequent so much? They just need to give you an endorsement to rep their stuff. Oh, geez. Chick-fil-A a hundred percent. What's your order? I usually rock with the number one, and I'll get a side of nuggets. But sometimes I'll spice it up, and I'll go with the spicy sandwich and a side of strips. Okay. 
So do you only do spicy with the strips and regular with the nuggets or will you mix yeah. it? Okay. No, usually that's kind of how it goes. Sometimes I'll, I'll go strips with the regular sandwich as well. But if I go with the spicy, for some reason, I don't go nuggets with the side. Interesting. Uh, what's something you'd like to learn? I would like to learn how to play the guitar or the drums. Do you have any musical abilities whatsoever? Not at all. I played orchestra in sixth grade, played the cello. And if it was a slow song, I made first chair. But if it was a fast song that re required a lot of uh, changing with the fingers, not for me. I, uh, I had a play. So I went to Green Hill. Before I went to Green Hill, I went to St. Mark's. And in third grade at St. Mark's, you had to play an instrument if you weren't good enough for the choir, which I wasn't. Now at Green Hill, it was you had to join the choir, which was basically like you can either sing or you play the glockenspiel. But if you weren't good enough to play an instrument, then you joined the choir. But at St. Mark's, I was forced to pick an interest, instrument, and I picked the cello because it was bigger than me. And I thought it was funny if I had to play an instrument that was bigger than me. Yeah. But I was asked not to play in the concerts because I was so bad. Really? Uh, yes. What is a uh, glockenspiel, if you don't mind me asking? What's that? What is a glockenspiel? It's one of the things where you just, you got a little thing and you. Like you, a triangle? No, it's like a. Uh, let me let me see if I you know this is the advantage of uh, doing this over Zoom and not person. I can quickly look at you and pull up. It's a Glockenspiel is a percussion instrument composed of a set of tuned keys arranged in the fashion of a keyboard of a, a piano. You hit it with like a it's like a xylophone maybe. Okay, gotcha. You you beat it with like a stick with a little ball. Oh. You know? I don't know. Something I can do. Uh, what is okay? So in baseball, you know they put a pitch clock in place what is something you experience in everyday life that you would just love to put a clock on like there's a there's an end point to this or that man uh sometimes red lights i hate waiting at red lights and i do feel like there are certain lights that are way longer than others you pull up there and it just does not want to change for whatever reason i'd like to know exactly how long i'm going to be waiting at this damn light what uh what is what is an unpopular opinion you have and not necessarily political, but like, you know, everyone loves this thing and you don't like it, or you think this and every, most people think that. I think raising canes is super overrated. I'm going to okay. be honest. All right. I, and I like the sauce. Don't get me wrong, but they're chicken and a Whataburger chicken also not good. Okay. Uh, let's hope neither uh, representatives from neither are watching. Love both uh, places because the tea is great at canes. <laughs> what, uh, what's your perfect sandwich? Ooh, okay, so this is going to be a little bit gross to some people, but uh, I'm sure you've been to Cindy's, right? New York-style deli. So they have a sandwich. It's the beef tongue, corned beef, and pastrami, and they throw a little coleslaw on there with Russian dressing. That, to me, is the perfect sandwich. I'm in love with it. What, uh, what, okay, so beef tongue actually might be a, a good answer for this, but I always like asking people whether it's toppings on an ice cream, toppings on a pizza, filling for a taco or a sandwich what's like the the most unique thing that is you know it's it's not a common uh pairing with you know whatever the the you know the the sandwich ice cream whatever what is something you like i guess beef tongue maybe would be that is there anything else that comes to mind ketchup on like a sandwich specifically with like corned beef or roast beef or the beef tongue any kind of like a dark deli meat like that i don't think ketchup is a bad condiment but a lot of people aren't a ketchup on sandwich person uh, I thought you were going to say ketchup on ice cream. I'm glad you did. Let me ask you this. Uh, someone from 105.3 The Fan answered that question by saying they like to include crushed Oreos in their chili. Uh, if you had a guess, who would give that answer? Crushed Oreos on the chili. Well, first off, Eric Chiafalo eats beans with his chili. So he is not, he's not one that answered that, though. I'm going to go with, uh, is it Gavin Dawson? It's not Gavin Dawson. He loves his Oreos. Is it uh, Corey Majors? Not Corey Majors, nope. I'll He's a more show host. It is. Is it Sean Sharif? No, it's RJ Choppy. Okay, okay. Yeah. Actually, That's that was weird. Sean, Sean's going to be very pure with his chili, I'm sure. Uh, what do you like to eat during the show, like during commercial breaks? Uh, I'm really not a huge eater during the show, but if I had to have something, probably – uh, during the keto phase, I would go and buy those packs of like, I don't know if they were Slim Jims necessarily, but it was the combos of just turkey like sticks. sausage. Yeah, some turkey or some sausage and cheese 
and I just munch on that in between breaks. Uh, what's your favorite Backstreet Boys song? Oh my gosh, I always can get Backstreet Boys and In Sync. Which uh, is uh, Bye Bye Bye. Yeah. Okay, that's In Sync. You want to give us? See? I think because you got it wrong that you got to sing it for five seconds. Bye 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 bye. That was only like one second. Well, I mean, I think that was five. I think it was pretty solid for me. <laughs> I need to scour the earth for the best Backstreet Boys songs, and I'll, I'll come up with a good one. Uh, if animals could talk, would their accent be dependent by species or location on earth? Definitely location on earth. That matters. Yeah. Uh, would you rather own a dragon or be a dragon? I would rather, ooh, I think I'd rather be a dragon. Okay. What's yeah, the longest you've gone without showering and why? Uh, probably like two days max. I shower every day. I'm a big shower person. Uh, just curious. Do you think it's like unusual that you shower every day? Because you said I that like, wow, like look at me. I shower every day. I, I, didn't yeah, have to... I kind of do think that it is though, because a lot of people that I've talked with, they are not like big shower showers every day. I know for instance, uh, I got into quite the debate with my girlfriend and some of her lady friends, and they're not ones that are, like, they have to shower every day. I think a big part of it was the washing of the hair, right? Yeah. But I thought it was just bizarre, and I know for sure Eric does not shower every day. That's disgusting. Uh, give me an impression of any one of your 105.3 The Fan teammates. Oh, my goodness. Uh, an impression of somebody. Man, this is tough. I haven't really thought of impressions of anyone uh how let's do let's do chris arnold i had to work with him last night so Ooh got you down chris arnold here 105 through the fan <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one uh all right uh if you could ask anyone any question and be guaranteed to get an honest answer what would you like to ask who would you like to ask what you know, what, what, what's the mystery you want answered? I want to ask Jimmy Johnson, did he actually plan on leaving the Dallas Cowboys or did he only leave because Jerry pissed him off? Okay, either or. Chicken nuggets, chicken fingers? Chicken nuggets. Go-karts or bungee jumping? Go-karts. Big car, little car? Big car. Singing or dancing? Dancing. Ketchup or mustard? Ketchup. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Milk chocolate or dark chocolate? Milk chocolate. Good answer. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles. Would you rather be a policeman or a firefighter? Firefighter. NHL 2000 whatever or FIFA whatever year? FIFA. MJ or LeBron? MJ. Pecan or pecan? Pecan. Root or route? Route. Caramel or caramel? Caramel. New Orleans or New Orleans? New Orleans. Caribbean or Caribbean? Caribbean. Belichick or Saban? Belichick. You're in the circus. You either are the person who puts their head in the lion's mouth or you get shot out of the cannon. I would definitely be the person who puts his head in the lion's mouth. All right. For the next month, you either have to have the airplane ears that don't pop when you get off the plane or you've oh. got a perpetually clogged nose. Uh, I would go with the airplane ears. Okay. You have to keep – you have to get rid of one of these functions, copy and paste or undo. Undo. Okay, teammate identification. Anyone on air at 105.3, the fan. Okay. All right, can you handle this? I'll give it a try. All right, best arguer. Best arguer. Give me Gavin Dawson. Wittiest. Ooh, the wittiest. Brian Broaddus. Cr most creative in, like, segment idea stuff. Mike Bassick. Best voice. Best voice, I would also probably rock with – actually, Jeffrey Kavanaugh. All right, you're playing like pub trivia or Jeopardy. You need someone who knows a lot about a lot. Who's your partner? Uh, RJ Choppy. Who's the person you'd most want backing you up in a fight? Sean Sharif. Who's the kindest, most genuine? Jared Sandler. That doesn't count. Eric Chiafalo. All right, we've got – a team huddle. We need someone who's going to give an inspirational, motivational speech that's going to fire us up. Who's giving it? Uh, let's go with Coach Balsack, Mike Bassick. And what do we think about the Houston Astros? I can't stand them. I hate them. They should be banned from MLB. Good answer. Zach, thank you for just hanging. This was an honor, a privilege, and a dream come true. Thank you, sir.